modern van connections now if we just get back to the basic uh, previous topics what we have discussed in the van technology section uh, we have seen something called lease lines and frame relay kind of terminology and then some lab on point to point frame relay links now probably uh, in this remaining topics will be will be getting to some of the modern van connections which we use in today's networks and which are a little bit more popular in today's networks like metro ethernet um, mpls vpns uh, dsl cable and vsat kind of things now let's start with something called metro ethernet lines uh, in terms of metro ethernet lines uh, if you talk about ethernet now this is one kind of ethernet connection which was generally used for building up the wan connections okay sorry uh, metropolitan area networks like take an example i have a location uh, in in one location let's say i have a location in hyderabad and there is one more location in bangalore i got two different locations and what we are going to do is we are going to connect our router to the nearest service port switch now this is a normal switch which we are using uh, it might be some other switches metro ethernet switches i'll come to that and we are connecting to the nearest service port switch and this is the exchange office of the service port in hyderabad and the service port 2 is the exchange office of service port on different location and this this might be a normal uh, fiber cable connecting between the router to the switch okay and then in between you have some repeaters kind of things just like how your internet connection goes and then from hyderabad uh, these two different exchange offices you have a pre existing fiber cable which is already laid between them let let me just make it more clear here so let's take an example i got a customer a and i got a customer b and a customer c in 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 based on in one location and then i got some cust same customers customer a site customer b site and customer c in a different location let's say in bangalore now i want to provide the connectivity between them now the service port is not using the uh, previous technologies like lease line kind of things the service port will have a pre existing network a switch which is uh, more like a normal layer 2 switch which we use in our switching concepts and then it is having a switch on the other side this is the exchange office of hyderabad that is a service port exchange office and then this is a service port exchange office in in bangalore location now the service port is going to provide the connection to the nearest uh, exchange office and mostly they might be connecting on the same switch but now the question is the same thing here they are connecting on the same switch now, but there's three are different customers but now normally according to the normal switch behavior if i assume that this is a normal switch there is a possibility that any broadcast comes on one port it will automatically go on other ports so which means there is a possibility that the traffic coming from customer a will go to another customer and to overcome this in order to differentiate what we can do is we can configure some vlans i can put this port in the vlan 10 and this particular port in the vlan 20 and vlan 30 just like we do in the normal switching and the same thing we are doing here vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 and then in between switch to switch we can have one separate link maybe one or more than one and then we can configure this particular link as a trunk link which is going to carry the vlan 10 traffic also the vlan 20 traffic also the vlan 30 traffic at the same time if this device generates a broadcast it will go only within that vlan so the more like a ethernet Uh, ethernet is something which is built over the wan but it's not it's no more restricted in the lan now so initially this kind of implementations was used to build some lan connecting within the city limits uh, by using some fiber cables now it has been extended to wide area networks as well now one of the major reason for this is the ethernet standards which supports high speed data transfer rates it supports 10 gig even 100 gig or more than that uh, which is supported on the ethernet interfaces which is something not applicable on the serial interfaces so let us see the same thing here uh, if you just get back to the link the, it's it's more like that you know this is what service port of is use we we'll use ethernet is something it's no more restricted to the lan it has extended to the man that is metro port and network now it's it's been used in the van as well so where service port is starting using ethernet wan connections to overcome the speed and distance limits 
Now, one of the major reason is to overcome the speed limits what we have with the serial interfaces. So, which means serial ports, which are still used for the wire connections, but they do not support high speed data transfer rates. So that's the reason most of the lease line connections or any other connections, they come over ethernet ports, which supports around gig port means it supports around 1000 Mbps, which is something very high speed wire connection. Now the major reason, as I said, it's, it's, it's going to provide some high speed air transfer rates. When you talk about frame relay, it's, it doesn't support that much speed. So we use some ethernet interfaces on the customer end, which is more common interfaces to find rather than serial interfaces. Now in case of service port or networks, the switches which they use, we call them as Metro Ethernet switches, one of the special category switches. Now the good thing about these switches is each and every port is isolated with each other. So they, we call it as uh, UNI ports, user node interface ports, where by default any traffic coming on port number one will not go to any other ports by default, unlike our switches. If you talk about normal catalyst switches which we use, uh, 2950, 2960 switches or 3550, any other switch, any traffic comes on one port automatically, if they don't know the destination, it will simply broadcast. But that's something not happens here. So which means the customer do not need to create a separate VLANs for each and every port. So each and every port is by default isolated. But you can use, uh, you can say one of the port to as a trunk link, then we can change the port uh, type, something called NNI, network node interface. Now this kind of terminology we use in the Metro Ethernet kind of switches, uh, which is something not really required at the CCN level. But just for your information, I'm providing that each and every port will be isolated with each other. So which means anything coming on port number one will not go to port number two by default. Now this is one of the most common uh, technology which is used for providing most of the WAN connections in today's networks. And most of the WAN connections comes over Ethernet. That's what we call as Metro Ethernet WAN connections.